as you've talked about throughout this, after your, your first WWE run, you worked behind the scenes and you came back yep. to manage uh, the Godwins. How yeah. did that whole situation come about? That come about when I was still working with Coliseum Home Video. Yeah, it was still Coliseum Home Video. Uh, before it went over into uh, WWE Home Video. They've made that change from F to E. You know, yep. w. And then uh, I was looking for a way to help video sales. I was looking for a way that we could maybe um, get a little fire going when I went in and, uh, and pick up the numbers on the units we were selling. You know, because when I'd go in and talk to these sales distributors across the country, I'd always, you know, tell them the suggested retail price, and I'd give them the. Uh, you know, price point, whatever it was, and I'd give them the, you know, you know, the, the order date, the pre-order date, stuff like that. And I'd always, uh, you know, I could tell that they were more into it if I had done something, or if I was on the tape, or I'd had something. So when I started going back and we figured we'd do something with the Godwins, Henry and Phineas, they put me with them. It got over. It got over, and they were and they were good. I mean. Phineas could work. Big uh, Big Henry was uh, was great looking, and I had a lot of fun with those guys. Um, I knew it wasn't going to be a long time, but it did help. It did help too in my uh, in my job job, which was uh, home video sales. And uh, as you know, we beat uh, we beat the uh, I think it was Bodies Adonis. That was the one with Sonny. Yeah, and they had a little tag team and Pritchard and those guys, and we beat them one time in the garden. Henry and I, we beat them uh, as far as the, I was, I was managing, and they beat them for the world belts, and we got to keep the belts for a little while there, and then we changed it back and forth, and then of course, by that time, it would, uh, by the time the next TV come up, that was another deal, they only, they dropped it again at the next TV back to them, and um, uh, I, I, I enjoyed my time with those guys, it was kind of short, but I, but I knew it wasn't going to be a long thing. But, uh, you know, and, and, and that stayed together for a little while, and then it kind of, you know, it ran its course. But that was kind of Chief J. Strongbow, too, at that time, trying to, uh, trying to re, uh, rehash that hillbilly thing. And I got in on it, too, of course. Since I was, since I was the original hillbilly Jim, it kind of made them happy that I was back there, you know, mentoring them and, you know, being their manager. And, and then, I, and of course, it was a selfish motive for me, too, because I, I wanted to have an entry to sell more home video. How was working with Sonny because a lot of people didn't like her backstage? I never did, I never, I never, I left that with Henry and Phineas now did that mostly. And the only times I would usually come out and do shows would be TV. I, I never even showed up to too many, I didn't show up to too many house shows. Okay. You know what I'm saying? No, no. So I have to go through all that. So when I saw her, it was in a, it was in a different capacity, right? Yeah.